Okay, um, good news, bad news. Bad news. My range is horribly mismarked, and, uh, all my distances have been wrong, so. <laughs> yeah. Signs in yards. It's wrong. Uh, now there's uh, markings on the backer boards. I was told they're meters, and they're wrong. Uh, I was told both uh, had uh, range finders involved. I'm thinking some other substances might have been involved because, wow. Uh, <laughs> but what do I know? Um, just speculation on my part. And, uh, yeah. So, I finally splurged on a rangefinder, and it just verified that it's pretty dang accurate. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so, my shooting's not quite as good as I thought, and my son's is better. So, insult to injury. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what I thought was, you know, 50 yards, because lazy... Bad back, knees, you know, taking it easy on myself. But shooting at 50 yards, calculating through on target. Um, yeah, it's 40 meters. So, pfft, yeah, worse. Um, well, he's shooting us marked 55 yards. It's 50 meters, so his got better. <sighs> what was marked 115 yards is 100 meters, so that's not too bad. It's not too much different, just ever so slightly worse. So I don't feel too bad about that, you know. If there's anything else, you'd go well, margin of error, but you know, we know it's it's not because those are actual measurements. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, and what I thought was 25 yards is 20 meters. So yeah, eh, I, I don't know what the heck happened. I wasn't involved. And, yeah, things would have been done differently if I was. <laughs> All right, well, that's just to, you know, kind of, I'm going through on target and changing all my data so I know in future, you know, what it actually was. <sighs> yeah, so I only caught that this week. All right, well, what this is about is 26 gram shot minis. Um, assembled three quarter inch uh, number four wood screw, um, green wad. That was a particular example. Powder coated weighs uh, 426.7 grains. So um, 27.65 grams assembled. This is at 40 meters, uh, 18.5 grains of international clays and a two and a half inch hull. I trimmed them down, which takes the skive off. Which, if you look at um, slug rounds, the hulls, there's no skive on them. And it makes a much nicer roll crimp because that skive tries to sneak around the side, but it can only do so in a small area. So it kind of does it play with accuracy? Maybe? I don't know. But. It is much nicer. Um, velocities, nothing to speak of as far as difference, so that's good. Um, go down a two and a quarter inch hull, and there is a slight difference I found. So, yeah. Um, I was using my El Cheapo $150 partner pump. With a hundred and ten dollar tactical stock, I just added, <laughs> so almost double the cost. Of, eh, well, you know, turned a hundred fifty dollar shotgun into uh, a two hundred sixty dollar shotgun. You know, Chinese eight seventy clone, um, H and R. Yeah. Um, now, using a, a Bushnell, uh, what TRS twenty five. My opinion, they're garbage. Because I've destroyed, what, three of them now? And uh, they haven't been through hard use. Just, you know, normal stuff. A uh, couple of the glass walked. This one, I was, the uh, 
the knob for brightness to turn on the uh, the red dot is all screwy. It, it isn't that old. It was replaced. It's out of warranty now. But yeah, it's kind of in between clicks to get it to light up. Uh, so I was messing with this the whole time because I'd shoot and it'd go out. Would it have been a little better? Maybe. Maybe not. It's what it is. Ah, uh, but anyway, yeah, I mean, I can take the thing, spin it back and forth, and the dot that tells you what number it's on, the number will change. It'll still light up and click and everything, but the no, it, it, that dial moves. Uh, I don't get it. At least it works, but yeah, I have to actually look at it to see if the dot's on, because it may be saying seven or four. <laughs> Never says off anymore. <laughs> yeah. But I need that low, super low profile. I need to find something that's better that has that, you know, just complete bottomed out mount um, on a pick rail. So if anybody can suggest something, please let me know. Um, there can't be any riser to it. Because once I get a cheek weld and this stock has a riser, it's maxed out. It's still not centered. It's a little low. It's more like, you know, third co-witness, you know. <laughs> ah, oh, well, at least it works. Um, but, yeah, it's one of those ATI aftermarket stocks. Um, so, back to this. Okay, these are one-inch dot. Try to print it to scale. Um, now, 40 meters. I got 2.264 MOA. Or, inch. Oh, wait. Excuse me. 2.264 inch group. A 4.943 MOA. Of course, once they hit out to 100 yard, you know, um, physics would uh, take over. I wouldn't really expect that. Because uh, this thing, you know, it's a refrigerator. It's a reverse Diablo. It's like a funnel with no exit. Um, but, you know, we know that air will be kind of a shield over that. And, but still, it's light. Would that work for or against it? The lighter loses energy over um, distance, but the weight, gravity isn't having quite as much effect. Ah, well, I haven't ventured out beyond um, 40 meters. But, on the other hand, I didn't peg these things for more than 25 yards. So, I figured home defense is as good as it's really going to perform. Uh, and this exceeded my expectations by a fair amount. Let me tell you, I expected, <laughs> you know, everywhere. Uh, so I just thought I'd throw out that these do have some potential. Um, you could reach out a little further than, uh, I thought. Um, you yeah. know, about twice as far as I thought, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, you have to do the conversion. What's, what's, what's 40 meters? 125 feet-ish versus I figured 75. Eh, not too bad. An extra 50 feet is, uh, you know, save your life. All right, well. Figured I would put that out there, and I'll leave you with that. Have a good one. God bless. See you.